Hello everyone, in this video we're going to talk about custom fields and the different kind of modules you can make custom fields against. So, what are custom fields? Well, against each and every module inside the system you will notice that there are a number of built-in fields and again, against all of those modules you will also have the option of making customized fields to record data that is only specific to your workflow or requirements. For that, all you need to do is go on more then click on custom fields and you will see all of the type of modules against which you can make custom fields. Right now, the system allows you to make custom fields against these modules. And for this video, we're going to take the items module as an example. So you can see over here that I've already made a number of custom fields, such as machine warranty time, working condition, RAM. And as apparent from the screen over here, these are all of different types. So to walk you through the process, I'm going to go ahead and add a new custom field by clicking on this button on the top right corner. So first and foremost, you need to define a rate, define a name for the custom field. So let's go ahead and call it speed. Now, there are a number of options from which you can select the type of custom field you want. For example, you can define it to be a single line paragraph text. If it's a numeric field, it can be a number field. Otherwise, you can also go for a multiple choice or drop down. If, for instance, you need to record expiry dates or any kind of warranty type or renewals, you can always make a date type field as well. For the speed type, we're going to go ahead and use a single line text as an example. For the speed type, we're going to go ahead and use the number field as an example. So now you can link these two modules as well, and we'll talk about this in another video. So from the preferences section, you can select where and how you want to display this field. So for example, if, the, if you think this is a field that is mandatory for all of your employees to fill in, you can decide, you can make it mandatory on either create, edit, or reservations as well. You can then decide where do you want to display it, if you want to make it available for printing labels or not. Then alongside each custom field, you can save the history as well. We always recommend our customers to turn this option on so they have an idea of all of the changes that have happened to the custom field. So from a administrative perspective, you can also decide if you want to give your staff users the permission to edit these custom fields or not, and how you want to go about restricting their visibility as well. Then finally, there is really no restriction on making one custom field a uh, fit for all kind of a thing. You can always decide how you want to associate it. So for example, I might only want to associate the speed to my mechanical equipment. So I can go ahead and uncheck the other boxes. And now all of the items in the mechanical equipment group are the only ones that are going to have speed as a custom field against, as a custom field against them. So let's just go ahead and unselect all of these. There we go. Associate to all future groups, we don't need that. And then let's just click on add. So now when I scroll down, you can see the speed is now added as a mandatory field. You can always go ahead and move these fields up and down over here as well. Just a second. There we go. You can also edit this custom field or you can delete it. Now, this was, a, uh, this was about items. For the rest of the modules, you will notice a similar trend, so we don't need to really go deep inside them because the items module has the most number of preferences and types available for custom fields inside the system.